Art is here to show us how easy it is to have our own chicken coop in our very own backyard. I love that we have a chicken coop in our backyard. But why do we why, want to do why, this? Why, yeah, why do we do this? Because, well, a couple of reasons. One main reason is the eggs. Most chickens will lay at least one egg a day, and they are organic. They are like no hormones. Um, the eggs are going to have less cholesterol, a quarter less fat. This more is compared to what? A store bought egg. A store bought egg. egg. Yeah, and they're great. They fertilize your yard. They actually get rid of yard pests, and they're great for kids. Actually, they're a great pet to have. All right. Well, how oh. do we show? Oh. How do? How, where do we begin on this then? Do we get? What, what's first, the chicken or the egg? Well, first, first the chicken. Okay. So what you need to do first is really know the ordinances. Um, certain cities like, let's say, Milwaukee, you can have four chickens in your backyard, but you have to pay $10 a year. New York, L.A., San Francisco, no, New York, L.A., Chicago, no limit. You can have as many chickens as you want. If you live in Falls Church, you're not allowed to have chickens. So check your local ordinances okay. and find out. But you'd be amazed at big cities, you're allowed to have three to four chickens in your backyard, not, usually not roosters. Um, where do you yeah, it, find? Yeah, where do you find chickens? Because you buy, do you get them as baby little chicks, or do you buy them as chickens? Or you can, hens, you can do both, are. but the easiest and most common thing is to buy them as baby chicks. Usually, if they're a couple of days old. Mm -hmm. I actually just got these last week. I did it just down the street at, in Tarzan. Actually, I actually have okay. a video of me Let's getting us our look. baby chicks. Our baby chicks. My day began at the local red barn in Tarzana, California. <laughs> The first thing I picked up was a feeder, then a container for water, and a bag of feed. Let's get some chicks. I even made a quick stop to say hi to the roosters. Cock -a -doo -doo. <laughs> Cock -a -doo -doo. So to take the chicks home, you need a brooder. I made one from a standard plastic storage container. I cut a hole in the top and sandwiched a wire screen between strips of scrap wood, and then just a few bolts to fasten it all together. I lined the bottom with some craft paper to prevent the little chicks from sliding around. Now the brooder is move in ready. Ah, here's a chick catching net. You're going to home and family. Life is going to be good. Oh, Lord have mercy. You so, just brought one little baby chicken? No, I, I got a several, and so they've oh, been. Hi. Um, I think the chicken. Hi, they have been, they are a week old now, Aww. and you have to keep them with a red light on them. They need to be at about 90 degrees, and you can lower it by about five deg one degree to five degrees every, uh, every week. Well, are they warm enough in there? Because it's a little cool out here today. We had the lamp on them. I just took yeah. the lamp off. Oh, for, okay. And yeah, so they, they eat, they sleep, and they are very um, domestic oh. and friendly. Look how So they stay in there how long? They need to stay in here for six weeks. Okay. Um, and you can get a bigger one, you can make bigger, you can attach more than one together, but they don't go into a chicken coop until they're six weeks old. So that's after the, from this stage, could they go into Exactly. A so and at this stage, and then so these, uh, these, this is a, um, red, a um, uh, red rooster and these are red chicken, and these are um, buff Orphingtons, and they were born a week. So this is one week old, and those are two weeks old. And we've been feeding them this, which is special chick mash, mm -hmm. um, which that they need to eat until they are six weeks old, and then they move on to regular feed, which you need to mix with, this has oyster shells in it, which will give them the calcium that they need. All right, so after they've done that, they move into the chicken coop. Then they move into the chicken coop. You want them? And I don't want them to fall. How sweet is he? Yes. Be careful. Oh. Remember, he's chicken. He doesn't want to fall. So, uh, yeah, after right, so that, you can move them into a coop. And this coop we actually um, got from Precision Pet. You can get them in all different sizes. Um, they have a protective area and an area from the roost and an area for them to lay eggs. And it's very easy. You, you can order online. You can find them at pet stores. And they will, they usually come into several boxes. And you can put them together. And pretty yourself. easily assembled. Yeah, we actually have a video of this one going together. Okay. So yeah, so it, all it is is like pieces, it comes, you pins it together, all the holes are pre-drilled, you've got the, the screws, it comes with the roof, has an open bottom so uh, they can get bugs and the, the poop can kind of go down. It's all very easy. It comes with this great little area here that has a, that where the actual roost, it has a little lid, the lid comes up so you can easily get to the eggs. It has a little latch on it to keep the foxes out of the hen house. 